Are you ready to pray? Psalm 3 and verse 1. 3 and verse 1. Give my people the mic so that we'll pray. 3 and verse 1. It says, O oh Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Psalm 71 and verse 21. We're praying. Someone's destiny is about to change. Read with me. One to read. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me. How many sides? How many sides? Joshua chapter 3 and verse 7. Joshua 3 and verse 7. Read with me. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day I will begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Are you ready to pray? Shout this from the depth of your heart. Father, Father. for your glory, for your glory, increase my greatness. Go ahead and pray. Increase my greatness for your glory. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. Take away smallness from my destiny. Increase my greatness. Someone pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. Greatness is your heritage. Are you praying? Sapakata barakatos, rateka barakatas, rata bata kapas kata branda gatesh, rates kata barakata barakos. Increase my greatness. Increase my greatness. Increase the greatness of my family for your glory. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. my greatness take away smallness from my destiny in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray my God something is happening to your spirit man I tell you there is an elevation in the spirit an elevation I'm seeing a ladder this is what I'm seeing. An elevation. You will suddenly go and see that things are changing. Changing in your life. Hmm. Prayer point number two. Take it down for me. For the last one month, this prayer point has not left my spirit. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore. You will restore. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore. You will restore. Are you ready to pray? Joel chapter 2. Some of you have lost all kinds of things. Everything to be lost has left you. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You have lost joy. You have lost strategic resources. It's time to have it back. 
Joel 2.25 And I will restore to you the years and I will restore to you the years. God can restore time. Did you hear what I said? God can restore time. I will restore to you the years. If God cannot restore time, then he is not greater than time. If it is, he is greater and higher than the realm of time, then he must sustain the ability to restore time. Jeremiah 30 and verse 17. Please give it to us quickly. We are praying. Someone's life is changing. For I will restore health unto you. Those failing organs. Those failing body parts. You are just 20, 30. And yet they are telling you that you are losing certain things. It's time to be angry. God does not just restore time. God restores health and vitality. Psalm 41, 1 to 3. Shabakaparakatosiata. Blessed is the man that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Verse 2. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. He says, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. He says, thou will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. Shout verse 3 together. The Lord will strengthen him in the bed of languishing and I will make all his bed in sickness. God will not allow him to die, not allow him to deplete and famish. First Peter 5 and verse 10. I like this one. God is restoring. But the God of all grace who has called you to his eternal glory. He says, after that ye have suffered a while, what does he do? Make you perfect, establish you, strengthen you, and then settle you. Say it again. Make you perfect, establish you, strengthen you, and then settle you. Say, Father, I decree, I declare divine restoration of opportunities, of relationships, of resources, of men, of my joy. Now, open your mouth and pray. Restoration. 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 Restore joy. Restore years. Restore things. Restore men. Restore resources. Shabakaparos. Rakata praskata vaskabash. Rakata praskata balakos. Rakata pranta kapash. Ebrakatos koto prekateles. Cry restoration. Cry restoration. Cry restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Job chapter 42 and verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job how many? How many? As much as he had before. The Lord turned his captivity, but he did not stop there. God restored by giving twice. Are you ready for the third prayer point? We have five in total, but we'll pray three now. And then I'll begin to minister deliverance. This is one miracle service you will not forget in a hurry. Are you ready? Prayer point number three. Genesis 21 and verse 1. 
It's one thing for God to speak, but it's another thing for his word to manifest speedily. Speedily. Listen. God's word can be sent, but it must arrive speedily. In the parable of the ten virgins, God himself was standing in the place of the bridegroom. It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made the oil of other virgins to finish. If the bridegroom came on time, all ten of them, they were virgins. Are we together now? It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made five to suffer loss. So when it does not arrive on time, your resources can pay for it. He says, satisfy me early with your mercy. Genesis 21 and verse 1. The Bible says, and the Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord spoke unto Sarah. Now watch this. You would think it just happened the next day. Look at how the Bible summarizes it. But let me break this scripture down for you. The Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. This is a spiritual reality. But the manifestation of this took 25 years before it arrived. Don't you think he just said it and it happened the next day? You see, the way God talks and the way he behaves, he expects his word to have come speedily. Whatever happened in the realm of the spirit that prolonged that situation, Jesus looked at the man in John chapter 5 and said, why are you still in this condition? And he said, I have no man. And it made his tragedy become 38 years. The woman who was bent for 18 years, another had hemorrhage for 12 years. Why does the Bible attach numbers to these tragedies? The Bible would have just said a certain man was sick. Abraham and Sarah were barren, trusting God. The man at the gate, he had been there a long time. But the Bible is so meticulous, it attaches numbers. Notice when Jesus came, he did not honor the longevity of their pain. He made them know that for all of them, a possibility existed to have received the miracle earlier. Are you ready to pray? Let me give you one more scripture. This one we are going to pray. Because there are some of you, you can't wait again till December. No. The Bible said, this is the day. Not this is the week. Not this is the month. There are days, there are weeks, there are months, there are years. Whichever one your faith defines is what becomes your reality. If your faith is for years, save Johnny. If your faith is for months, save Johnny. He said, give us this day. Give us when? One more time. So God can give men this day. There are times they will say, after five months, on the sixth month of the seventh year, the word of the Lord came. But Jesus himself said, when you pray, remind the Father that it's within his power to give you this day. Give me this, this day. Give me liftings this day. Open a door for me this day. Are you ready to pray? Joshua chapter 21 and verse 45. Give us amplified. We are still praying. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. He said. I'm charging your faith as we get into this place of prayer. I know him. My God is able to do just what He says He will do. He's God as to heaven with the promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you. John, Joshua 21. 45. Read with me. Ready? One to read. There failed no part of any good thing which the Lord had promised to the house of Israel. All came to pass. How many? How many? Are you ready to pray? Say, Father, I declare a speedy manifestation 
of every prophetic word that is upon my life. Open your mouth and cry. I declare speedy manifestations of every prophetic word. I declare, someone pray. I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word. Speedy manifestation. Speedy manifestation. You have spoken. Let it come to pass. Today, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now. Let it come to pass now. Let it come to pass now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My God, I'm tempted to give you the next one. Just endure. Let me give you the next one. Huh? Are you ready for the next one? John 14, 11. I have to give you the next one. This is why you came. He said, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. And if that revelation is what cannot make you believe, he said, believe me for the sake of the results. Believe me for the work's sake. Results can make men believe God and believe you. Did you hear what I said? Results can make men believe God and believe you. We read John 15, 8 earlier on. Herein is my Father glorified when ye bear much fruit. Not just fruit, much fruit. Great results. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Hallelujah ordained you to go and bear fruit 15 16 and that your fruit should remain let me tell you the truth do not downplay results in this life i know that you are here because you love jesus but you are also here because you have seen results results are the end of any and every argument you can argue all you can but not in the presence of results hallelujah what is a prayer father Give evidence to my Christian experience. Did you hear what I said? Give evidence. I'm tired of running around telling people I'm a Christian. I'm tired of telling people I love you without proof. I'm tired of telling people I'm serving you without proof. I'm tired of telling people that I'm living for you. Every family Father, under any cause, to my cause of experience. untimely death, give evidence cause to of my failure. You. The give edge of breakthrough. To my now you are going to shout, give Jesus. To my With that you one you loud ready? shout, Say, Father, those altars must give way in now. This season, are you ready? One, give evidence. Two, three, shout, Jesus. To my Christian experience. Be released. Results. Be released. And knowing results. Be released. Open your mouth and pray. Show break a table like a tower. Be released. Of, of, your family. Result. Be released. Give evidence. Your business. Be released. Your destiny be released. Are you praying? Everything that concerns you. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my lift. My life has buried the name of your family. The statement, Ikabo, that it cannot even be heard again. 
a family that was once great known for greatness but it looks like the devil has sat on your destiny i'm talking to three people by the spirit in the name of jesus right now by the fire of the holy ghost i declare may that fail may that fail be torn right now over your family may that fail be torn right now over your family may that fail be torn right now every month you must treat sickness mysterious sicknesses eating up your finances eating up your energy your vitality i don't know who i'm speaking to but by the power that raised christ from the dead that demonic authorization over your body is cancelled now cancelled now the lord is showing me a woman you've not been able to meet your husband abroad because they deny you visa I don't know if there's such a person. I've prayed for a number of people in those cases. But the Lord is speaking to me about that. You've not been able to go and meet your husband. You are legally married. But you are able to go and meet your husband. Because you've been denied again and again. And this has caused a lot of tension in your home. Wherever you are. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name that is above all names. We consult the greatest consular general. And we declare by the spirit of the living God that this time around may favor speak for you. Join them begging their children. May join them favor begging speak for you. Grandchildren, join them begging. May their favor speak for you. Shout no way. One more time. Shout no way. Whatever you permit, whatever you tolerate remains in your life. I'm saying this because everything that is not of God, it must let you go. Now, there are, there are families where the parents and the elderly people remain, but the children die leaving the parents. You see a family full of old people with no young man to help them. He said, I write these things to you fathers. I write these things to you young men. I write these things to you children. This is what makes a complete generation there must be elders there must be young men there must be children no generation is safe without elders no generation is safe without young men no generation is safe without children when satan wants to suspend continuity he looks for one of these three if he kills the elders the young men will become foolish young men because no counsel when he kills the young men there will be no continuity because the elders will pass on one day and the children will not have a way to be trained well. When he kills the children, you will now see the spirit that was in Pharaoh and he was negotiating the exodus of God's people. Let some go and let some stay. And Moses said, you are joking, all of us, our wives, our children. In this place tonight, there are elders. In this place tonight, there are young men. In this place tonight, there are children. In fact, in this place tonight, there are babies. Our commission tonight is everybody must be free. Yeah. There is nobody that is too young to be free. And there is nobody that is too old to be delivered. In one minute, I'd like you to pray. Every first time down my destiny, you must let me go now. 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 In the name of Jesus, everyone shout this after me. Say, Father, Father. every curse, every, curse. every enchantment. Every Every demonic arrangement orchestrated by men and by spirits against my life and my destiny. Let it be destroyed now. Open your mouth in one minute and pray. Every enchantment, every curse orchestrated against my life, against my advancement, against my health against my prosperity 
by the blood of the eternal covenant be broken be broken be broken be broken in the name of Jesus We are trusting God for an encounter with the mantle of favor. The mantle of favor. First Samuel chapter 10. Media, can you help us? And Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon his head and kissed him and said, Is it not because the Lord has anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? Verse 2. When thou art departed from me, you will find two men by Rachel's sepulchre in the border of Benjamin at Zelzah. And they will say unto you, a restoration has come into your life. He said, the asses which thou went seeking, somebody else took it and took it back home. He said, you were looking for something. You tried every skill, but God has instructed someone to take that donkey back home not to take it and look for you to take it back to where it was supposed to be number one number two it says okay can, can we go to um, verse three then thou shalt go forward and thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor and there you shall meet three men Going up to God in Bethel, the place of abundance. He said, one carrying three kids, another carrying three loaves of bread, another carrying a bottle of wine. You will meet influential people. He says, something by reason of an anointing, you will encounter people carrying strange resources. He said, when they see you, listen, verse 4, please. Help us, media. They will salute you. And they will give you two loaves of bread. He said, which thou shalt receive. They are on their way going. But an anointing compels you. Listen. Favor is a dangerous mystery. When men look at you, that anointing makes them behave to you in a certain way. It's not like they plan doing it. Hallelujah. There was an anointing upon Esther. And the Bible says she found favor in the eyes of everyone who looked at her. The moment they make contact with you, a reaction happens in the spirit. Hallelujah. A little boy leaves his father's house in desperation and returns with an anointing that brings uncommon results. We are going to pray. Lord, any man that sees my face, let that anointing be activated. Lift your voice and pray. Any man that sees my face, let that anointing for favor speak. Any helper, any man of influence, their contact with my face will command favor. Are you praying? Any man that sees my face, I activate that mystery on contact with me. Access to strange resources, access to the heart of kings, access to the heart of nobles, access to the heart of men of influence by this mantle of favor by this mantle of favor hallelujah hallelujah the bible says from the day potiphar set his eyes on joseph something happened to potiphar 
and he could not victimize that boy again he was sold as a slave a slave is a property but he found favor let me tell you something about favor when the favor of god is upon you a man does not need to know you to bless you pharaoh hated israel but he instructed a release of abundance in one night the bible says the israelites spoiled the egyptians it was like a charm because after they left he now recovered and said what did i do chase them and take it back abimelech blessed abraham with abundance a man who had lied to him it warranted punishment but the bible says abimelech blessed abraham blessed abraham genesis 26 we we'll read from verse 14 or from verse 12 let's start from 12 down to 16 four verses genesis genesis 26 and isaac sowed in that land and received in that same year an hundredfold and the lord blessed him 13 and the man was great and went forward and grew until he became very great. Verse 4. For he had possessions of flock and possessions of herd and great store of servants and the Philistines envied him. Verse 15. For all the wells which his father's servant had digged in the days of Abraham his father, the Philistines had stopped them and filled them with earth. 16. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. I like it to say, Lord, begin to exalt me by your mantle of favor. Go ahead and pray, lift your voice. Thou art mightier, not by skill. Thou art mightier, not by age. We see that there is a mystery upon your life. Lift your voice and pray. He said, Go from us. Go away from this region. Haparato sata. Zapare kende kele pos. Brakapato sopa. Zebete kete. Make sure you are praying. Shekete barada balada balada bos. Zekete. Ma poroto skopria. Ele prates karepo zabanigari. Lord, you begin to exalt me by your favor, by this mantle of favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Revelations 5.12. Revelations 5.12. Let's have the communion. We are taking the blood tonight. Saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain. That blood he shed gave him access to power. We cried for it yesterday. The second dimension is riches. There is a way God can favor a man and bring wealth and riches. The Bible says, blessed is the man that feared the Lord. He said, the generation of the upright shall be mighty. He said, wealth and riches shall be in his house. Not be around, be in his house. He says, your gate shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Your gate shall swing open. And you will receive the forces of the Gentiles. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I open the gates of my destiny to favor all kinds of people, strangers, strangers. Lift your voice. Please pray. Please pray. Outside, make sure you are praying. Lord, I open the gates of my destiny. Strangers, your blood has given me access to riches, to wealth. I open up the gates. I open up the gates. In the name of Jesus. I open up the gates. 
Pray. He's working in me. He's working in me. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. God's ability. It is God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. Hallelujah. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 9. Can we have the communion, please? Leviticus 26 verse 9 I'd like us to read it can we have new King James is that possible or amplified anyone please amplified or new King James hallelujah start from verse 9 you're on verse 10 Go ahead and read one to read. He said, For I will be leaning towards you with favor, I will regard you. As a result of that, I will begin, I will make you not you will try to do it me i have chosen to make you fruitful it says i will make you fruitful i will multiply you i will establish you verse 10 it says and you shall eat the abundance of the old store there was something meant for you that you have not touched i will go back to revisit things that you are supposed to enjoy it says you shall eat the abundance of the old store of produce long kept there are blessings that have been kept but by witchcraft and manipulations you've not had access to it he said they are still there although you have not seen them they are still there and he said you will eat them he called them an old store and then he says long kept he said and clear out the old to do what to make room for the new in other words what you will begin to enjoy is a restoration first i need you to empty the storehouse to make room for what i'm about to do lift your voice and say lord by favor i receive restoration by favor you will eat of the old store you will eat of the old store
Alleluia. Alleluia. We are going to pray. He said, even God who quickened the dead and called those things that be not. He says, and whatsoever Adam called it, that was his name thereof. I'd like you to begin to call things in your life. Listen, there are things that have mocked God in our lives. I'd like you to insist. God has already told you, there's no such thing as losses. They are still in the realm of the spirit. Call them by their names and say, appear in my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Pray. Sheketabara. Call forth fortunes. Call forth opportunities. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Call them to appear. By the mantle of favor. Call them to appear. 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 Lekoto konsoto kote rekete brash kamari anavala. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We, we just got word that it's like there's a little hitch with the communion. So it's possible we may not be able to take it. We really apologize, but we're still going to pray. Hallelujah. We're still going to pray. Listen. A man's life will be a repeated cycle of hardship. I believe in principles. I have taught you principles. We have taught principles of financial dominion we have we have taught all sorts of principles i believe in that but i have also seen how god can veto laws and step into a man's life and do remarkable things are we together job 42 verse 10 job 42 verse 10 life is more than science i believe in principles and the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And also the Lord gave Job. Who gave him? Where did he get it from? A man can get a thing from God. He said, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had. How did that happen? I will tell you how it happened. God did not leave us in the dark. He didn't fall from heaven. Next verse. Then came unto him all his brethren. That was the first sign. When favor is upon your life, strange men start coming. Never trivialize the appearance of men. The Bible says, he that told, they, they dejected him, everybody left him. But now they started returning. And the Bible says, and all his sisters, and all they that had been his acquaintance before. Before. The ministry of men brought favor to Job. Something happened and the men left and the favor went with them. Men are custodians of favor. And the Bible says, and he did eat bread. They did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. And what happened? Every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold how many of them every it was like a roll call you were my friend before and you left me where are you bring your money favor i'd like you to pray and say lord every destiny helper that has left my life before they must appear with their blessings lift your voice and cry 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 Kapoto sotoba. everyone the acquaintances that left him before they left him before in the name of jesus we call help us we call help us
Call them forth. Call them forth. Call them forth. Call them forth. Hallelujah. 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 I like us to pray. The Bible says all that happened to Job when he prayed for his friends. Praise the Lord. Pair yourselves into two. I like you to hold the hand of somebody. We are going to provoke a divine mystery. He prayed for his friend. Please, I like you to pray. Whether you are holding your friend, your brother, your classmate, leave the issue of relationship now. I like you to prophesy and say, I restore by the power mandated upon my life. I call forth favor upon your life. Pray. Oh, you have an anointing. Pray. Pray. Release miracles in the life stand upon your priestly position pray oh i'm mandated to bless you my brother i prophesy to you my sister i end your misfortune i end your misfortune by the anointing of the holy ghost a mantle is upon me and i speak to you I speak to you favor 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 upon you favor upon you it must speak it must speak I give it a voice favor
before I speak upon your life hallelujah before I speak upon your life I want to pray for you please everybody pray I want you to stand if you can take off your shoes and stand upon the ground the earth is a universal point of contact everything alive makes contact with the earth everything alive every destiny helper you meet is at this point touching this ground just like you and we're going to pray the, pro the prophet said as for the earth out of it comes bread there is a mystery of the earth i like you to pray and say as i walk upon this ground wherever my helper is i call you by prophecy come into my life go ahead and pray 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 please we're not playing wherever they are i use the earth as a token i use the earth as a token of prophecy i use the earth as a token mark apparatus oh earth hear the word of the lord i speak to you locate my helper locate my helper financial helpers ministry helpers business helpers oh earth i make a contact with you pray Roto Supregede, a grapato coroco Supregede, Sparianda Careto Scobas, Rapato Supregede, Racoto Scoprende Gedebos, Terra Rabosona Maria Rade. hallelujah please remain we are still praying give us job chapter 5 i want to show you a mystery job 5 22 and 23 our earth is surrounded by mysteries those who understand this will know how to reign in life job 5 22 and 23 please media are you there And destruction and famine at destruction and famine thou shall laugh I will tell you why listen neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth verse 23 for thou shall be in covenant with the stones of the field listen he said and the beast of the field shall be at peace with you there is a mystery here he says I will put you in covenant with this earth and instruct that everywhere the earth sees you it must make everything on it favor you i show you a mystery listen listen to what i'm teaching you it says you will be in league you know what it means to be in league covenant everything upon it when it sees you it tells the animals and every hostility be at peace this man is in covenant with us i'd like you to pray and say oh earth hear the word of the lord I have a covenant of peace every business upon the ground every helper upon the ground be at peace with me be at peace with my destiny pray pray you shall be at peace in league with the stones of the field money will not run away from you money was made from the earth it has a spirit pray there is a covenant of my destiny and the earth 
I speak to you by the authority of the Lord Jesus. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. Thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field. Thou shalt be in covenant. I speak to you. Speak to the earth. Speak to it. It has an ear. I speak to you. Every resource within you, around you, upon you, answer to me. Every resource within you, around you, answer to my destiny. Everywhere you see me, answer to me in the wilderness, in the plain, on land. Every hostility that happens upon the earth shall not be my portion. No accident, no terrorism, no lack. I'm in league with the stones of the field. No longer will resources run away from me. They come to me in abundance. hallelujah hallelujah listen there are five elements that become conduits for the expression of the supernatural five elements by the way don't you think that what we have done or what we are doing is some sort of demonic thing no hosea chapter 12 said i have spoken to you by the prophet i have used similitudes i have used tokens representations to communicate my intent i have used tokens similitudes to speak to you they understood this mystery that was why every time god did, did a thing they would raise an altar and be at peace with the earth and raise an altar and say this altar even when we leave this city make sure you speak for us we were supposed to kill certain people, but we spared them. And so we raised an altar there and we ate bread there so that any man that dare touches us, the altar will speak. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. My secret place is calling you take my praise oh god take my praise hallelujah when the lord was showing me this mystery i've shared it with you there was a year this is not something you just do foolishly I started trekking from the roundabout of Chike Republic to aviation. The Lord made me do so. And I was just walking on the ground and praying in tongues like a fool. I didn't know I was entering a covenant. Every principality in this city knows. I told you there is a spirit in this city that makes things old. The lifespan of impact in this city is three years. After three years, there is a force that draws your life back to nonsense. There are great men that have written, risen from this city, but they do not know the art of war in the spirit. And when I walked upon that, I was tired, I was hungry, but I was speaking. The Bible says, everywhere the sole of your feet, not the desire of your heart, everywhere the sole of your feet treads upon. What did he say? He said, I give you. That means you define the limit of your territory. I'd like you to pray. And say, I'm standing upon the earth. The same way the ground is not upon me. Hardship, return to where you belong. You are under my feet. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. I'm standing upon the earth. Hardship cannot be upon me. I'm standing upon the earth. It's a sign of dominion. It's a sign of power. It's a sign of sovereign control. I command situations. I command circumstances. 
come back under my feet come back under my feet come back under my feet everything above me mocking God in my life mocking God in my destiny mocking God in my life mocking God in my destiny you come under my feet you come under my feet you come under my feet hallelujah hallelujah I was sharing with the school of ministry students this morning a very humorous experience that happened to me somebody called me at the beginning of this fast and he said apostle the Lord instructed me I'm a professional tailor and the Lord instructed me that from today I shall handle all your clothes and begin to sew your clothes for you I want to come and collect your measurement and all I need to do is to sew your clothes the Bible says strangers shall feed your flock if you don't don't you think it's happening just because we're men of God this ministry we have seen strange I, I will not even begin to give you the testimony because it will make some of you angry the finger of God the strange manifestation of the favor and the wisdom there is such a thing called the mantle of favor a man can have it there is such a thing called the mantle of favor there are unbelievers they are not born again but they are some of the biggest financiers of some of the ministries that you see around the biggest financiers and they will say God said this I was sharing with somebody of a lady he started with one but there are three of them they, are, they believe their assignment in my life is to send me 5,000 Naira recharge card every month as a covenant. Hallelujah. There are people who do me transfers to my account every month of their life as a covenant between them and God. God is my witness. I don't know some of them. I don't even know how they got my account. Some will tell me I had a dream. Some will say, I did this. Brothers and sisters, if you think you must know somebody to bless you, you are joking. Get set to die poor. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mm. Wisdom, strategies. The Bible says, and Uzziah, it says, Uzziah became strong because he was marvelously helped of the Lord. We are going to pray and say, Lord, help me. Listen, when God helps a man, your story must change. I like be humble and say, Lord, I've done my best. Help me. Lift your voice and pray. Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped. I pray. Lord, help me. You yourself be my helper. Pray. 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 Soka paratu shotos. lekota. Are we praying, please? Help me. Ebenezer, the helper of Zion. Ebenezer. He said, if the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say, hallelujah hallelujah please if you can lift your hands as i speak over your life i want you to believe it there is such a thing as a mantle of favor not the gift of favor the mantle of favor in the name that is above all names the resurrected christ he said worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive for us riches I pray for you every cause of misfortune upon your life today we bury it forever in the name of Jesus we bury it forever in the name of Jesus every signature of hardship every signature of misfortune in your life 
in this year kapote kerika zetele ketariata in the name of jesus i bring it to an end i bring it to an end the bible says hey guy the one who dressed the virgins of the king gave esther a certain kind of ointment and she kept rubbing it for one year when she stood before the king he desired her i pray for you by this mantle let any man who sees you desire to bless you desire to help you desire to bless you hallelujah i pray for everything dying in your hand the bible says they are taking for a prey and none say it restore i stand upon this anointing in the name of jesus like jesus called lazarus from the grave every misfortune every dying business every dying career every dying idea jack back to life this night in the name of jesus jack back to life please help that brother help that brother jack back to life in the name of jesus jack back to life in the name of jesus hallelujah i pray for you that grace that makes men accomplish so much in such a short time in the name of the resurrected christ i'm praying for you beginning from today let that favor cause speed in your life let that favor bring speed to your life speed to your life speed to your life speed to your life listen from today i like you to walk conscious of the fact that the mantle of favor is upon me as you move around know it don't don't just be emotional this night i walk all the time knowing that there is favor upon my life i expect people to bless me anywhere anywhere at the airport bus station anywhere i expect it because it's not about the people it's about what is on me lay your hands on your head say father today i receive this mantle of favor mantle of favor i command you begin to speak speak to the north speak to the south speak to the east speak to the west in the name of jesus i command you attract to my life people attract to my life opportunities attract to my life resources in the name of jesus lift your hands i'm praying for you my god like a cloak let it come upon your people that mantle of favor some of you beginning from this night as you leave it's like a mark upon you you will find people favoring you everywhere and anyone who is connected to this grace those online businesses let me pray specifically for businesses i pray for businesses every man is a maximum of four helpers away listen to me this has been statistically proven no matter what kind of help you need in this life from a human standpoint every man is maximum four helpers away for some of you you have struggled and there are wicked spirits that will not let you rise not let your children rise not let your ministry rise wicked spirits that have vowed as i brought your father down
will bring you down too. As I brought your sisters, I will bring you down too. Welcome to the house of God. This is Mount Zion. And the Bible says upon Mount Zion that there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. I'm telling you those, those wicked, negative, demonic circles tonight, right here in this place, they will come to a permanent end in the name of Jesus. hallelujah hallelujah listen one of the graces i'm praying that you will receive tonight for the first time or greater portions of is the favor of god watch this samuel comes to the house of jesse the prophet is there the oil is there and they keep lining all kinds of people but the oil rejects them the person to anoint is there the oil to anoint is there a head that needs the anointing is there and the oil said no it says i will not rest go out do you not have one more son and he says there's one he said go and fetch him i will not sit hmm. what makes a prophet close to you the oil close to you your head is even close to it and yet the oil says i don't want you there is somebody i will not rest and they go and bring this smelly young boy he says that's it that's it many virgins together about to go and see king hazarus many i'm sure everybody was practicing whatever skill they would use before him and here was this village girl from shushan show me esther chapter 2 from verse 8 and 9 watch this i know we read 15 and 16 and 17 but let me show you 8 and 9. so it came to pass when the king's commandment and his decree was heard that when many maidens were gathered together unto shushan the palace it says to the custody of Haggai that esther was brought also to the king's house so she was one of the many to the custody of Haggai, keeper of the women, verse 9. And the maiden pleased him, Esther now, and she obtained kindness. Amplified, I believe, or one of the versions will say she obtained favor of him. Watch this. This is what I want you to see. She obtained his favor. Read the next five words you can see. Use your mind and look for the next five words after favor. Are you ready? One to go. And he speedily gave her. Stop there. He did what? Ah. He did not just give. He speedily gave her. She obtained favor. Others will say, I need this oil. He will forget. After two, oh, I remember. But when a woman who was carrying favor, he speedily gave her. I'm showing somebody your next level here. That things will speedily come to you that men will speedily give you believe it and receive it he speedily gave her speedily gave her speedily gave her that was the same grace that was upon the man called nehemiah the cup bearer of the king the Bible says without him directly asking, the king looked at his countenance and said, Nehemiah, why is your countenance troubled? And he said, I'm troubled because I'm here serving you. And then the walls of Jerusalem is not built. And the king took that initiative by himself. I will give you all the materials that you need. And I will write letters to ensure that no one harasses you. That all the resources you need to build, I will give it to you. And the Bible says he went and he began to build and there were two men who came called Sambalat and Tobias their assignment was to stop him from building but that was too late the decree of the king had gone forth and the Bible says with one hand he built and with another hand he held the sword that's how we build in the kingdom with one hand your technical skills but with another hand the Word of God is now making that happen do you believe that one more scripture ezra 6 14. ezra chapter 6 14. someone's life is changing let's read together long read but be patient ready one to read and the elders of the jews built it and they prospered uh-huh through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and zechariah the son of Edo, and they built it 
and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel and according to the commandment of Cyrus and Darius and then the other king the king of Persia watch this now notice God spoke but men spoke he said they built it and prospered through the prophesying of two prophets so God gave the decree the kings agreed but the prophets made it happen God kings prophets God gave the commandment three kings came together to agree on that commandment but it did not guarantee that it will be built the Bible says the actual prosperity of that building happened because of the prophesying of Haggai the prophet the business will not thrive just because you have a great land that is visible through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo ladies and gentlemen I welcome you to June miracle service where God will give you a testimony that is undeniable 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 are you ready to pray rise up on your feet and for the next two or three minutes please no looking left and right with with the determination of one who has come to receive whether you are in all the overflows hall one down to the basement outside following online i want you to open your mouth and in the name of jesus begin to make decrees make decrees that that which i came for in the name of jesus my expectations are met speedily so without delay without anyone today someone pray without delay without any wanting without delay without any wanting without delay without any wanting someone is praying without delay without delay outside are you praying a global family following online make sure you are praying without delay by the power of the Holy Ghost go ahead and pray Ta -da 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 -da. Someone is praying. listen please listen one more prayer point hear me at the start of this year God gave us a prophetic word that this is the year of open doors and I did teach you that there are three biblical Every family ways we under open any doors. Cause, Number one cause is of through the use death. of the right key. You remember cause that? Of failure that when you at apply the, the right key, you now you are going to shout Jesus. Open. Number two, with that one knocking, loud shout, you can those knock all the must and the give way the now. Are you ready? One, you. two, but number three, three shout Jesus. Can be opened by the use of force. Release. You can use it force, is. and this one does it not is. just open, it breaks the door. Show because when you like open a the door, after it, it can close, your and your children may not be able be to release. pass. When that your door is broken, everybody is. after you can your pass. Destiny. Did the Bible not say at midnight, Everything Paul and Silas pray, and they sang, and the Bible says the prisoners heard them. It says suddenly there was an earthquake. This 
was not a key this was not knocking there was an earthquake it shook the doors and all Hallelujah. doors open someone open your mouth and declare it the name all of your doors, family all doors the all statement doors. is happening that it cannot even all be heard doors. again Have a family that was once great financial known doors. for greatness marital but it looks like the devil has sat on your doors. destiny Maybe and talking to doors. three people Are by the spirit in the name of jesus right open. now by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I declare, may that fail, may that fail be torn right now, over your family, may that fail be torn right now, over your family, may that fail be torn right now, all doors. Every month, you must treat sickness, mysterious sicknesses, eating up your finances, eating up your energy your vitality Hallelujah. i don't know who i'm speaking to but by the power that raised Hallelujah. christ from the dead that demonic Hallelujah. authorization over you your body is cancelled now cancelled now that's why people join certain ministries join certain men the of Lord god showing me a See, woman. people partner with certain you anointings to this is the mystery of partnership when you partner with an anointing you access the covenant I don't know the covenant not the promise the covenant cases but the lord is speaking to me about one you've not been able to go and meet your husband you are legally married but you are unable to go and meet your husband there are parents today again the again moment you are 50 years arthritis in your home you Wherever get up one morning, father cannot walk, mother cannot walk, the their entire pension is spent on it. The greatest it's not sickness, it's a programming, and all that is accurate that with digital out, precision, regardless of your foreknowledge, it will work. May favor speak for you, it will work. May I have favor seen it destroy families, I have seen it destroy ministries. That's why certain ministries remain small no matter how anointed they are an anointed man with fire on his head but he will not cross certain boundaries once they reach 200 something must happen a wrong news will spread around a scandal must come whether it's true or not have you not seen students their last and final exams they will go and the spirit will start moving them carry something to the exam hall they don't want to but it's an altar you are too weak to fight it you will promise that you will not take it and you take it as soon as you are sitting they just catch you and they said your entire six seven years cancelled brothers and sisters it's an altar there are families that as a family they are victims of abuse everybody mother father brothers all the daughters will eventually meet a man of god somewhere and all the man of god will do is to destroy them it will happen they are scattered in every place but their experiences are the same you will see them and like them but at the end of it you must leave them with pain they think is that the ministry is bad but the issue is the altar There are altars you give birth to men they must die they must die something must kill them no matter how healthy they are they must die brothers and sisters i have seen this evil it exists tonight we are going to pray are we together when it's time i'm not going to give you a prayer point when it's time to pray we are going to pray tonight you are going to erect many of you as you pray tonight you will see what will begin to happen to you I want us to lift up a fire in this place tonight and say lord this demon that molests me in my sleep i can't be pretending that it's not there again these animals that come to me in my sleep no i started a business well why is it that i start good things something evil must come lift your voice and pray Shere <laughs> 
Sedalash Sakoto Soto Bekeya. War a good warfare tonight for the sake of my children. Oh God, arise! Oh God, arise! Oh God of Jeshurun that rise upon the wings of the wind. Arise! Arise! Be serious tonight. I tear down altars. I use prayer as a system of authorization. This cause must stop. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight I stand on behalf of myself and my family and I declare that every altar that is speaking against my destiny I tear it down tonight lift your voice and pray I tear it down altars of delay altars of barrenness altars of failure hallelujah please pair yourselves to two find find a partner and hold a hand be serious please if the person by your side is not serious leave him alone we are doing serious business tonight find a partner and hold a hand say after me in the name of jesus Say it again in the name of Jesus. Every legal access I have given for these altars to speak against me knowingly and unknowingly. Tonight I invoke the blood. Let the blood speak. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every legal access. Every legal access. Every legal access. I have given any altar of darkness. Even the lawful captives. 
shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Shapras katabareto sobre que se gete, lembreto sobre que te calababa. Mante prete co sobre bech, lique te pescara, lembro so sobre ti. Shele que te coto sobre que ta, pre sobre le a sopa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold the hands of someone else. Look for another partner. Hold the hands of someone else. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of failure. I speak to you. In the name of Jesus, I tear you down. Release my destiny. Release my destiny. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of stagnation. I speak against you. I speak against you. I curse you by the God of heaven. By the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are really praying tonight. I'm seeing blood dripping on people. God is bringing so many miracles in people. We are still praying, please. We are still praying. Shalapakaya. We are still praying. Skatabariasa. I see altars on fire. We are still praying. We are making real contact with the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Altars that are territorial in nature. Fighting my destiny because of where I'm coming from. I prophesy tonight. Your hold is broken over my life. Lift your voice and pray altars associated with territories associated with territories i come against you by the god of heaven i come against you pray pray i come against you Hallelujah. 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 Please help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. Listen, there are some of you, your prayers were answered since many years. But it looked like it has not manifested because every time it's reaching you an altar lifts up. We are going to call it back. Are you ready to pray? Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every delayed blessing that should have happened in my life and was delayed 
because of these altars tonight by prophecy I call you back to my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray and watch the God of wonders authorize the God of heaven and watch restoration happen in your destiny restore relationships restore finances restore mantles restore ministries Pray, pray. Let your prayer be heartfelt. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to call the name of your family members. Listen. I don't care how many. Call it. Listen. You are going to call them one by one and say i stand as an altar and i bring you out of this dungeon lift your voice and pray call them call them call them mention them by name call them i bring you out of this wasteful living call them hallelujah 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 say in the name of Jesus be serious say it again in the name of Jesus I speak to the East I speak to the West I speak to the North I speak to the South Everywhere my favor is in the name of Jesus I command it to my life now lift your voice and pray you don't have to travel call it everywhere it is hallelujah I want you to pray listen I want you to pray and talk to God tell him Lord I'm part of this apostolic family the altar you have erected here must speak for me I want my life to show it from today lift your voice and pray pray with understanding and watch what happens to you pray with understanding 
pray with understanding pray with understanding Lord I inform the altar that you have with your servant pray with understanding pray with understanding I declare it. Hallelujah. Many of you may not realize what is happening to you. Please, I don't want you to idolize this teaching. No. It's not about religiosity. It's about proper understanding and application. So it's not just coming to lie down here. That, no, 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 no. The altar is a revelation. We are going to pray right now and activate back our prayer lives. Listen. Because many of us here, the only time you pray is when you are together with people satan started attacking you he gave himself a five-year plan to attack your prayer life he will never attack it at once he can give himself a five-year plan and be destroying you say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the spirit of prayer and supplication the grace to pray I receive it right now lift your voice and begin to pray fire fresh fire on my altar fresh grace to pray fresh grace to fast fresh grace to intercede fresh grace for warfare i command every dead prayer life around my life come back to life come back to life hallelujah hallelujah one last prayer point and i will pray for you there are many of us the spirit of god started revealing things to you because you were meeting with him every day but something happened no more visitation of the secret place and that portal closed over your life no access to illumination you used to be you used to have projects that you and god are on you can literally say we are on a faith project but now there's nothing like that your life has become stale and barren some of you is when you started ministry this this so-called thing called ministry that's what destroyed you we're going to pray a prayer of restoration and the fire will fall upon you i'd like you to pray say in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus say holy spirit i ask that you manifest yourself once again in my life holy spirit i cry for intimacy afresh with you lift your voice and begin to pray intimacy spirit of the living god do not be far from me again pray pray let it not be that you're just a stranger we were closer than this and something happened pray restore that intimacy restore that sweet fellowship that i once had with you fellowship that nothing in this world could be compared
hallelujah please lift your hands i tell you there will be there will be testimonies upon testimonies i pray for you now i'm praying for you in the name that is above all names everyone hearing me and standing here whether inside or outside you have prayed if there is any altar as i speak now that is speaking against your life at the count of three i command those altars to catch fire right now please get ready the power of god will come on people one two three i command those altars now be broken be broken be broken be broken i command those altars be broken be broken listen lift your hands i'm challenging altars of failure listen just i'm praying for you don't pray just listen to me because i'm seeing people here failure it has nothing to do with academics it makes you fail in everything i stretch my hands may that fire anyone here who is a victim that altar is speaking i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i judge those altars now 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 by fire i judge those altars now There are altars that cause men to see things and never handle it you see a job they tell you it's yours quarter to reception everything changes i don't know who belongs to that category but in the name of jesus inside and outside following online anyone who has been a victim of total failure and disappointment right now in the name of jesus that fire comes upon you in the name of jesus that fire comes upon you in the name of jesus i command total deliverance help them help them please total deliverance in the name of jesus christ put down your hands ladies keep your hands lifted i will tell you why i'm praying There are many ladies let me tell you many people don't know why things don't work especially for ladies it's not because you are ladies and it's not because you are bad it's because many ladies are spiritually ignorant of what they represent in the realm of the spirit a lady is not just another human being who is not a man no it's more than that a lady is the chiefest point of entrance even among men that's why she has a womb the only lady a lady is a gate in the realm of the spirit it's not just a human being keep your hands lifted that's why demons look for them that's why spirits look for them that's why altars speak against them it may not be caused by you but i'm praying for you keep your hands lifted you may not understand what is happening lord jesus i'm praying now that any one of our sisters here whose family and destiny is under siege i'm declaring anyone who made a covenant with the earth for your destiny anyone who passed through fire to make a covenant with your destiny in the name that is above all names i decree and declare upon every lady now be free in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus from those yokes those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause lungs around your body those lungs those barrenness i cause it by the god of heaven 
I cross it by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Thank you for staying tuned till the end of this video. And we believe you have been blessed mightily by the word of the Lord through his servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. We'd like you to subscribe and strike the notification bell to receive our daily uploads from Reflector Hub TV. God bless you. Now we are going to pray. Everyone, please pray this very seriously. This is part of the miracle service. Are you ready now? Say, Father. Shout it, let it be with all your heart. Say, Father. In this season, I decree and declare that I'm going forward. I'm making progress. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Decree and declare in this season, someone is praying. You came for a miracle service. Command your own progress. In this season, Shalika Beka Paraka Tabarato Siata. In this season, I decree and declare, I make progress. I make progress by the power of the Holy Ghost. Progress spiritually. Someone is praying. Progress in business. Progress academically. Progress maritally. Someone open up your mouth and pray. Progress. Progress. Someone is praying in the name of Jesus. In this season, I make progress. In ministry, I make progress. In this season, I go forward. Every delay, every stagnation against my life, against my progress, I come against you. Someone is praying. A believer is praying. I make progress. I make progress. I make progress. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. This is August the eighth month. We are stepping into September the ninth month. And the Bible says, as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth her son. Is someone ready to pray? Shout it, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every vision, every prophetic word that is still hanging over my destiny as I step into this month and September. Let it manifest. Open your mouth and pray. Let it manifest. Let it manifest every vision every prophetic word someone pray let it manifest great things that have been spoken concerning me let it manifest let it manifest the increase let it manifest someone you are praying breakthrough let it manifest open doors let it manifest let it manifest by the power of the holy ghost you are praying let it manifest Shakata pakata lakata. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. Someone pray. My marital destiny. Let it manifest. That pregnancy. Let it manifest. The arrival of that anointing. Let it manifest. The open doors. Let it manifest. My prosperity. Let it manifest. The ministry of destiny help us. Let it manifest. As soon as Zion travails, travail it in prayer, let it manifest. Shata leke parakata brakata balakatosh. Krapakata branda kaparakates. So branda kaparakata lakata boss. Skata balakata branda kabalakata. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. In the name of Jesus, let it manifest.
In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. How many of you are ready to rebuke the spirit of delay? You're going to shout this, let it be from the depth of your heart. That there are many things God has said should be by now. But there are spirits that have vowed that you will never see the faithfulness of God in that area. Now is the time to clear them out of the way. Are you ready to pray? Shout it, say, Father. Shout it again, say, Father. In the name of Jesus, every delay over my life, over my destiny, by the blood of the eternal covenant, that delay is broken now. Open your mouth and pray. Broken now. Broken now. Delay. Broken now. Go ahead and pray. Delay. Broken now. Delay. Broken now. Delay. Mention every area of your life. Cause delay. Cause delay. Cause delay. Call it by name. Cause it by the blood of the Lamb. Shabakata balaka parakata. Krakata lanta kaparakatos kataprakata. Shabranta kaparakata balaka paruta salavatash. Take a minute and cause delay. There must be results in my life in this season. I cause delay. I cause delay in ministry. I cause delay in destiny. I cause delay over your children. Cause delay over your spouse, over your business. Sabalaga parada kata frest. Skada balanta kapa laga parato kata barato siata. Delay. Delay. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. When it was time for Isaac to bless his sons, the blessing was to go to Esau. But because a secret that was in the heart of Isaac was made open, Rebecca had it. And when she had it, she called Jacob. She said, something that should come to your brother, I want it to come to you. And as if it were a joke, Eventually, Jacob received that blessing and Esau cried and said, is, is there nothing left? Let me tell you the truth. When matters leave the heart of God, you are not the only one who hears it. That God said, I want to bless you. It's not only you who hears it. The gates of hell, wickedness, powers, and everybody is also interested in that prophecy. What God told you is also of interest to demons. Is also of interest to wicked men but it is your own responsibility to war in the place of prayer and say that which is a portion for me it must never be diverted in this season that which is a portion for my destiny it will not be aborted in the spirit is someone ready to open your mouth and pray go ahead and pray that which God has declared concerning me it will not be diverted by wizardry it will not be diverted by powers manipulating the heavens i decree and declare that which has been spoken concerning me oh i will not make the mistake of Esau. i wore a good warfare with the prophecy i wore a good warfare my bishopric another will not take my bishopric another will not take Pray. Pray. Amalada malaga baraka tabros. Pray. Pray. 
In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't be tired of praying. You're partnering with God to produce victory. Now we're going to pray. We're going to call forth by faith the human agents who have been mandated to partner with prophecy so that it will be manifest in your life. You can call by faith. Remember, I have taught you because one man forgot Joseph added two years in prison. So when God speaks, the manifestations of his word is not just mindset dependent. You have been taught here that it's also men dependent. We have dealt with the issue of mindset. Someone is going to pray. Shout it from the depth of your heart. Say, Father, every human agent who must come into partnership with prophecy for my sake I cry unto you may they arise now open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray help us of the war open your mouth and pray endorse us open your mouth and pray don't be silent don't be careless declare by faith ordained by God to partner with your rising ordained by God to wipe the tears of shame from your eyes ordained by God to see to your lifting ordained by God every human agent decree and declare they rise for your sake they come to the rescue for your sake Every human agent mandated by God, anointed by God, the Father of Spirit, to show up in this ministry, to show up in my life, to show up in my destiny, bringing direction, enhancing my lifting. I call them forth by faith. I call them forth by faith. I call them forth by faith. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Two more prayer points. Don't be tired. You are returning with your testimonies for sure. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You still believe in speed? Hmm. Yes, sir. That in four months, God is still able to bring you acceleration. Who believes that? Shout it after me with all your heart. Say, Father, Father even, now, even now, I still believe for speed, for acceleration. Open your mouth and pray. Even now, even now, it is August, but I still believe for my company. It is August, but I still believe for speed in ministry, speed in my destiny shake away unbelief and pray speed someone pray speed in establishment speed in your finances lord do in one month what has not been done in five years jehovah do in one month what has not been done in five years do in one month what has not been done in five years bring speed to my destiny bring speed to my destiny go ahead and pray pray with faith speed to my destiny Speed, speed, speed. Even now, I believe you for speed in ministry. Even now, I believe you for speed in destiny.
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Mary cried and said, it's too late. The man is dead three days. He said, if you were here, Lazarus would not have died. But he said, even now, even now, huh, even now, it is August. I feel that we should still pray that prayer again. We should pray. I don't know. It may not be for everybody. Father, do in one month what has not been done in five years. Go ahead and pray. Do in one month in my life. Do in one month in the life of my spouse. Do in one month in the life of my children. Do in one month in the destiny of Nigeria. Do in one month in my business. God can bring speed. Speed in your finances. God can change the report in one month. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think it was, was it US or Canada now during the Sound of Revival conference? A lady gave a very touching testimony. I think for about 21 years, if I recall, she had been trusting God, something related to her papers or so. I hope I get the testimony right. 21 years, and just like that, in a moment. It is beautiful to see God move, but it is beautiful to see him move on time. On time. On time. Even now. Let me speak to someone before we take the last prayer point. Everything that seems to be behind schedule in your life, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, if you have the faith to believe it, September will not meet you still desiring that miracle. I say to you, September will not meet you still desiring that miracle. I send a prophetic word. September, not, not September, will not meet you still desiring that miracle. September will only meet thanksgiving. September will only meet thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those of you who think every prophetic word is a joke, the Bible says despise not prophesying. I'm still saying it again. We still have a few days. I'm not saying the end of September. I'm saying September will not meet you still waiting for that miracle. Honestly, from the depth of my heart, if you believe, you will be surprised at what my God will do. September will only meet you dancing only me to rejoicing, only me to jumping as far as that matter is concerned in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what the situation is. Shortly we'll be praying over the request. You see, when you come to God, take away your pain for a moment. If not, it will disrupt what God is doing. And you will find out that you'll be hearing words that can change you. But something in you will be saying, is it true? Can God make a table in the wilderness? I know God moves, but can he step in for me that fast? It means you don't know God. In case you didn't have the faith to receive, I'm saying it again. That the remaining days left until August is complete. May that be the length of time left for your miracle to arrive. The remaining days left until August is complete. May that be the length of time left before you begin to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the prophet said, by this time tomorrow, and a foolish man said, ah, will this happen? For some of you, the meaning of this is that divine direction like you have never seen from January till now, God will show you the real secrets for the results in the name of Jesus Christ. For some of you, God will raise men 
that while you are sleeping they are awake for your sake in the name of Jesus Christ let me give you the last prayer point very quickly we have to hurry up my God the last prayer point are you ready to pray now you're going to pray and I wrote this while I was praying as God was just telling me the things we'll be praying on. The final thing that I wrote here is we're going to pray. The spirits that take away joy. Listen, that when you receive a testimony, it doesn't seem to last. There is no longevity. Have you seen people like that? As soon as a breakthrough comes, they are even afraid because another news will soon follow. I don't know about you, but take the next two to three minutes. You are going to war in the spirit. Whatever the Lord doeth, it endures forever. Lord, I will not laugh today and cry tomorrow. I will not celebrate today and cry tomorrow. You will not start something and then leave me in shame. Someone open your mouth. Say, Father, bring your word to completion in my life and give it longevity in my life open your mouth and pray bring your word to completion everything you have begun bring your word to completion someone is praying bring your word to completion bring your word to completion and give it longevity let me not rejoice today and cry tomorrow let me not celebrate your blessing today and lose it tomorrow. Let me not celebrate promotion today and lose it tomorrow. You don't lift men up and bring them down. Longevity of impact. Longevity of relevance. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. I don't have time. That's why I'm not showing you all the scriptures. My apology. But the scripture connected to this, we will not quote it, but I'll write it for you. I would, I would just, just um, quote it. The Bible tells us that after 10 plagues, 9 plagues, when the 10th one came, listen, that Pharaoh released the people in a hurry. They left such that their dough could not even rise. He said, go, go, go. In. And the Bible says as they left, Pharaoh suddenly said, no. I won't give up on them even though they have gone he said get your army pursue them and bring them back so don't just say I have left Egypt there's still Pharaoh regretting that he left you and he's on his way with a chariot are we together now but Miriam sang a song for us he said I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and its rider have been thrown into the sea we are still going to pray that prayer one more time that everything that represents Pharaoh still wanting to pull me back into my pain of yesterday wanting to, to bring back the shame of yesterday to have blessings and lose it to have joy and lose it to have sleep and lose it in the name of Jesus it is drowned forever open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray invest one more minute in prayer drown forever drown forever Drown forever. I have left Egypt. I will never return there as a slave again. I've been called to walk in liberty. I will never return there in shame again. Been healed I will never go back to that sickness again the spirit that resurrects trouble resurrects pain resurrects shame resurrects disappointment I curse you over my life in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ